never mind i never there was there was several sort of junctures in my career in 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 feature films where i questioned hmm. the fact that what am i doing in this particular industry but the kind of work i'm getting right nice. but it was a catch 22 situation by then shivani because i had you know kayamat se kayamat tak it worked for me yeah bunyad for me was a game changer absolutely yes so i was being offered a lot of work then came the the mid 80s when everybody was doing three shifts yeah where producers would come to you and if you told them that you had time they wouldn't sign you so so it was so mad <laughs> if you told producer ki mere paas time hai aap ye date le lijiye they walk out of the door they said yaar ye to faltu baitha hua ghar pe to ulta hota tha so i built through that three shift system which basically as an actor that shook my foundation oh because i saw around me no one was happy no actors the heroes it was it had just become into a money making machine a, hmm. like a taxi service raj kapoor very rightly called one his his brother shashi kapoor a taxi right. the great shashi kapoor hmm. but i promise you his words echo with everyone at that time who was doing three and four shifts we were all taxis there was no question of quality or like you know of any of that sort because there's no way you can do it when you're hmm. running from one set to the next but it it was that and what the system had become right. so it was like it was like it was like playing roulette you know you had six films hmm. nobody quite knew what the heck was going on in any of the movies <laughs> because yeah actors would come for two and three hours scripts were written right there oh. scripts were changed dialogue was changed at the last moment to suit this suit that right. sometimes mithun and me would go from one set to the next and apart from changing our shirts nothing <laughs> else changed and i agree so i mean it was it was just so chaotic that it was rule agar picture chal gayi to chal gayi shabash panch picture aur sign karo i did a movie before bunya that's why i say bunya was a game changer for me yes. as many other movies were Like, when I started out, I did Ankur, which I was edited out of most of the movie. But let's say I started, let's say for practical purposes, in the mainstream commercial cinema, I started with Shan. Yeah. I was playing a bad guy in Shan. Yes. Okay. I'm Shakal's uh, bad man. Yes. With him. Yeah. After Shan, I took a break because I realized that what I had done was like you know my father came to see the premiere and he said, "Is this after doing?" such major plays in the theater he says is this what you've decided to do you know play mm. a, a side side role as the bad guy so yeah, i got yeah. a wake up call so i didn't i i then decided that i'm going to do something of consequence but i went to ravi chopra who gave me a movie called aaj ki awaaz ha which was shivani a phenomenal hit yeah and i was the baddest guy ever in that movie <laughs> <laughs> So your dad so much, so, so much so that my mother got so shocked. She said, "Please don't play these kind of roles." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, from Aaj Ki Awaaz, I started getting offered a lot of, uh, you know, these negative roles. But yeah. then came a movie in Malayalam, India's first 3D film called My Dear Kutti Chatan, which was a super hit in which I was playing a, a, a father, but a kind of a sort of happy-go-lucky drunk father, you know. Oh, okay. Right. Emotional role. It was an emotional role. Right. Dying after that, after Shan and Shakti, I played another role in Shakti. I had a, I had a, I had a cameo with Amitabh Bachchan Sahab and with Shweta Patel. It was also a negative role. But straight after that came Bunyad with Ramesh Sippy. Huh. Those days, I was like in Mr. Ramesh Sippy's <laughs> camp, you can say, right? Yeah. He's like his resident actor. So he gave me he gave me Bunyad. Look what Bunyad did. And Bunyad, I was playing a father. I didn't think twice. I didn't think twice that uh, Ramesh Ji, you're giving me a father's role. Yeah. My my other brothers in Bunyad are not married. Why am I getting the father's role? I didn't think about it at all. It was such a good narration from Manohar Sham Joshi Ji and Ramesh Sippy that I said, 
I mean, I didn't even think of my role. I just said, wow, what a subject, you know. Mm. I want to be part of it. So in Bunyad, I was playing the father of two young kids. So I didn't bother me at all. And from there, I got Kayamat Se Kayamata because I asked Nasiru Sen Sahib when we mm -hmm. were shooting Kayamat Se Kayamata after quite some time. Oh. I asked Nasiru Sen Sahib. I said, where did you find me in this big fat industry? <laughs> How come you, because it's such a powerful role. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So my thing to him was like, wow. I mean, you know, he said, I saw you in Bunyad. Oh. He said, I saw you in Bunyad and that's what I wanted. I wanted a strong character, but an emotional character. And we knew we were going to cast Amir. Mm -hmm. And you absolutely, not only physically, but that is the kind of character I wanted. Sure. And you played it in Bunyad and he called me. And a lot of people, a lot of big actors refused. Kayamat se Kayamat. I, I can't mention the name, but oh, yes, okay. there were a couple of projects that came to me at that time, okay. which were from filmmakers who, I lost Meera Nair's film, oh, okay. Kama Sutra, yeah, I'll give you the name of it, Kama Sutra, Meera Nair came, mm -hmm. she offered me a fabulous role in Kama Sutra, which was a film she was doing in Khajurao. Yeah. And her rule was, like all international films work, you can't go up and down in the set and all because, you know, they have their insurances and things. You can't like right. say, okay, now I'm going away for three days to some other shoot and mm -hmm. I'll come back to you. It doesn't work that way. I adjusted all my dates. All I wanted was two days. Two days I couldn't adjust. Oh. And I begged her. I said, Meera, two days. And I wasn't even shooting on those two days right. with her. Oh. But she wouldn't let me go. She said, no, you can't leave. And, I, and then she explained to me why I couldn't leave. Because it's not her telling me I can't leave. You see, right. the the way the insurance structure is done right. in, in international films, all the insurances of the movie, of the actors, of the caterers, are all locked into one big insurance policy. It's all interwoven. Oh, right. Now, I take off. Even It's not a question of the air ticket or not. I take off, I go off. To some other film, okay? Khuda mm -hmm. I get hurt doing on that set or something happens and I get injured away from her film. Mm -hmm. And I can't shoot with her. The insurance won't cover her. The person who taught me right. Not by teaching me and sitting me down and saying like ABC, but who, who made me aware of this was Ramesh Sikhi. Because oh. while I was doing Shan, he offered me this cameo in Shakti. So when Ramesh Sikhi offered it to me, I, say, I have a huge amount of respect for Ramesh. I was doing Shan with him and he offered it to me. Firstly, I was very flattered that he had the confidence that I could pull this scene off. It is a very good scene. You see Shakti. The, do a scene with Amitabh Bachchan in Shakti, who was at his peak. Right. It, it takes, it makes you feel good, you know, made me feel very calm. But I told him, I said, Ramesh ji, you know, this cameo and just doing this one mm. kind of thing, you know, that's when he sat me down. He said, Dalit, the cameo that I'm giving you changes the story of Shakti. True, true. And then he went on to explain to me that this is, I, even then I did it. I said, fine. I mean, Ramesh is telling me I can't say no to him. I did it. But I was never hundred percent convinced in my mind that actually it will be, it will have such an impact. Right. Because I was, I was not so knowledgeable about script writing and cinema and how films are structured and stories are structured. Mm -hmm. And Ramesh we finished the shooting and Ramesh said, you did it very well. Now you Dalip. What I told you, you see the movie and you tell me. Shivani, I still get mail for Shakti oh. to this day. Such an old movie. I did one scene in it. And to this day, in my fan mail, people remember Shakti. Dia Chopra Sahib had called me to play the second lead with Rishi Kapoor. Oh. 
Now, in between, I went off to do a play, this, that, and the other, and he decided to give that role to Deepak Parashar. Oh, okay. Who was after that role all the time. <laughs> so, when I, so, when I came back to, I mean, that's okay. Yeah? I mean, people are after roles, there's no problem. Yeah. But when I returned from Bombay, I came straight to, I got a message from Chopra Sahib that come to the office. Hmm. He knew I was going to do a play in Bangalore. I came back. And he told me, he sat me down, he said, Dari, ye tawaif ka jo role tha na, I didn't think that, you know, it would do anything for you or you would be anything. He said, it was such a, it's a second lead. It's a, it's, and he used these words. He said, you're a strong actor. He told me, he said, look, Dari, you have a strong presence is what he said, not actor. He said, you have a strong presence. You're a powerful actor. Absolutely. I just don't see you fitting in as a second lead with Rishi Kapoor in this. So I have given this role to Deepak Parasha. So my face fell, obviously, Shivani, you know. Mm -hmm. Bihar Chopra, I was, you know, those days people sat thought, yeah, here again, you know, they're just soft soaping me, saying some kind words. But anybody, he, he, he immediately said his next sentence was, go to Cookie's office, that's Ravi Chopra. Oh. He said, that was right next to his office. He said, you go in there, there is a, there is a cast reading for a play called Ajki Awaz. We have kept a role for you. Cookie has kept a role for you. He's waited for you. He's kept a role for you. Raj Babbar and Smita Patil and Nana Patekar are doing a reading in the next room. You go there. Oh. I went in from his office. I went into Ravi Chopra's office in the, in, his, in the, in the hall that Ravi Chopra had next to his office. Sure enough. Raj Babar, Shrita Patil, Rana Patekar and a few other actors, they were doing a reading of Aaj Ki Awaz. I walked in, Ravi said, hey, lovely to see you, where have you been, we've been waiting for you. Here's the script, you're playing this character. So I got into the reading. Turned out to be the main bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> who just does the most horrible things. <laughs> Wo picture hit ho so ever since then, even Bunyad, Kayamat Sir, Kayamat Tar, I always get strong characters and I'm grateful for that. The South, basically, creatively, the South is way ahead of Bollywood. Super. Mm. Which is like evident in box office as well now. Like and now movie. it's begun to transcend. Mm. It has now begun because their formats have become, they've got, South India has always led the way. Yeah. Even in the old days, a lot of the Hindi movies were, were remakes of South Indian films. They weren't copied, they were remakes. You bought mm -hmm. the rights and you made it in Hindi and it became a huge hit. Mm -hmm. Things like Sadma, a lot of movies there. So, I mean, I don't know how many examples to give you. Mm -hmm. And the South has always been the leader and now they have come back to make it pan India because yeah. like Raja Muni and, and KGF and, and RRR, all these movies have such a huge format hmm. that they have transcended the language barrier. Yeah. Cinema has never had a language barrier. Narrow-minded, hmm. tunnel vision people who say, Arey, Hindi hai, ye hai, hmm. Cinema has no, no, no language barrier. Hmm. Only ideas and concepts have any kind of barrier and that is good or bad. No language barrier. I have seen films that are made in in the Korean language that are made in yeah. look at Godfather, look at these classics, Gone with the Wind, look at Indian classics that are made in Hindi. They translate, you put a subtitle to them and they and, and you dub them in any language you like. Mm -hmm. It'll be a super hit. Look at my dear Chota Chetan, India's first CD film, which was made in Malayalam. Chota Chetan was made, it was made in 3D. It became a hit. Everyone went and said 3D, 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 3D. People bought 3D cameras, they started uh, da, 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 3D, 3D. Then came a film called Shivaka in South. <coughs> uh -huh. With Jackie, 3D film. It was a total mm -hmm. flop. What they don't understand is that 3D enhanced the presentation of Chota Chetan. But Chota Chetan's story mm -hmm. and emotions, even if it wasn't in 3D, would have been a successful film. Mm -hmm.